Welcome to Freema. Welcome back to the Fremontian. Once again, a word from our principal, Principal Esquivel. Morning. Um, I hope everyone is doing awesome this week and today. My name is Blanca Esquivel and I am the proud principal of Fremont High School. I want to do a wonderful shout out to all my Pathfinders that have taken the vaccine and have uploaded it on the Daily Pass. Remember that come January 10th, it is mandated for you to set foot on campus of our beautiful Fremont campus you have the vaccine approved and uploaded on the daily pass i want to remind everyone that we're having a winter formal this saturday it's on the rooftop of 1010 wilshire and it is for all the students that have complied with the vaccine mandate we want to give you something and thank you for complying with this and we want to show our appreciation it's going to be the winter formal but we have guests superstar singers that will be performing at the winter formal so if you have any questions regarding the winter formal please see my assistant principal miss hoback the winter formal dance is this saturday from 5 from 7 p.m to 11 p.m at 1010 wilshire on the rooftop did you guys stuff yourself a turkey yeah because i didn't Oh, why? We don't really need to get into that. But what we do need to get into is this week's Fremontian. Let's get a blast from the past of the polls and fun facts. Man, Fremont has been around forever. And so have you, Mr. Reyes. <gasps> Minus 30? Not this time. Roll the clip. How dare you? Welcome to Fremontian number five. Today we will be walking around campus observing the changes and new additions to the school. Our very own fountain was donated by the Rotary Club of Southeast Los Angeles in 1960. We are told by staff that it actually used to be painted white. We are all familiar with our awesome library. And did you know that the library used to be located in the plant manager's office? Here by the auditorium, we see trees and plaques dedicated to our pathfinders that fought in the Korean War and Vietnam War and the World War II War. Pathfinders have served in the American military since 1939. And even now, we still have brave Pathfinders joining the US military forces. Let's go Pathfinders. <laughs> it's my favorite time of year. It's almost time for Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Tis the season to be jolly. Nah. For all the jolliness and festivities this month, we sent the clubs and events team to keep you up to speed. Mr. Producer, hit it. Hey, only Hello, I can welcome say back. that. Not today, I kind hope sir. everyone had a restful and amazing break. December is right around the corner, meaning it is almost Christmas, and time to eat more delicious food. Luckily for us, Magna is having a Christmas potluck. The potluck is taking place on December 16th at the new cafeteria. The times are from 5 to 8 p.m. In order to attend, you must bring food. Freshmen have to bring drinks, sophomores desserts, juniors side dishes, and seniors bring the main dishes. This is the end for everyone. So make sure to bring your family and any other people you'd like to bring. Magna is also going to give away any presents for all the little kids. There are also going to be presents for many fun games. Want to send someone a special candy gram? Well, you can. From, this, from November 29th to December 10th, you'll be able to purchase a winter gram. A regular candy cane costs a dollar, and decorated candy cane with a message will cost two dollars. This is all for clubs and events. See you guys at the potluck. Bye. Class of 2022, we have some news for you. Someone fetch me my crown. The prop department can't afford a better crown. It I is what it is. I deserve better. So, it was spirit week this week for seniors here at the Mont. I hope your crown is definitely better than mine. Mine is 30 for talking smack about our props. We sent the senior team to record Spirit Week. Check it out. Throughout the week, we went on the hunt for Spirit Week participants. We also got an interview with ASB president. Here's what she had to say. 
When is Spirit Week? Spirit Week is November 29th to December the 3rd. Where is Spirit Week located? The Spirit Week is located on the John C. Fremont campus. How did you come up with these ideas for Spirit Week? We came up with the ideas discussing through our senior cabinet. <laughs> Why did you come up with these ideas? What was the purpose? The purpose was to bring up senior spirit and to promote our sunrise. You already know what time it is. It's time for sports, sports, sports. Sports, sports, sports. We spent the sports team to interview one of our very own Lady Pathfinder soccer players after the destructive victory of 15-0. and zero. Holy smokes. That's more points than I even get in this class. Minus 30 for acknowledging it. You see, just roll the tape. My name is Joshua, and this week we had the honor to interview one of our very own Lady Pathfinder varsity soccer players. We also have some highlights provided to you by the Lady Pathfinders this week against their victory against Hawkins High School. Let's check it out. My name is Jenna Chikrivas, and I play for our high school, John C. Fremont. What position do you play on the varsity team, and how do you feel about playing that position? Um, the position I play on the varsity team is right wing and I feel it's new to me because I don't play like that um, on my outside team while I play defense so it's good to um, learn a new position. It started off I was a forward but then I just learned to play more defense so then I changed my position. Um, what, do you, what do you think uh, was the key to achieve the win yesterday against Hawkins High School? I think the um, the goal and what we did to win them was communication and teamwork. So we've never lost to them, apparently. Mm. So you just wanted to keep that streak alive? Yeah, I wanted to keep that streak alive and not let it die down. How did uh, our very own Coach Lopez react to the victory against Hawkins? He was happy, I believe so. He was proud of us because all our hard work paid off and his coaching did too. How does this make you feel about the next game? Do you feel prepared? Do you feel nervous, anxious? Um, I'm confident, but I can't let my guard down because you don't know how they'll be compared to a Hawkins. Uh, let us know who are, who are the next uh, couple of people that you're playing against, the next couple of schools that you're playing against. Um, we are playing against Jefferson today. And then after that? Um, I believe it's Bright Star um, on Thursday. How are you feeling about those two upcoming games? Um, as I said, I'm confident, but you know, you can't let the guys down. And, you know, I'm a little anxious, but I like to let loose. Words or any, any words for the fans of the soccer team? Um, I don't know if I'd call them fans, more like supporters, but thank you for that. I appreciate it. Attention bookworms, Fremont Reads. I didn't really think the segment through, but I hope you're enjoying your reading time during class. Let's dive into some knowledge. My name is Heather Gehring. I'm an ELA instructional coach here at Fremont. This is my second year, and before that I was an English teacher. So as an English teacher, I noticed um, that our students didn't read at um, the level that we expect them to be reading at. And as a school, we read at a sixth grade reading level. Um, and that's 9th through 12th grade. There's not a whole lot of difference um, between the different grade levels. And so the only way to improve that is to make time for you to read in class. So we are hoping with our middle of the year test that, they are that students are taking right now that we're going to see an improvement. And then hopefully by the end of the year, um, when we take the last test, we're going to see a huge improvement as students are practicing reading more and more. Um, I met with our student success team and we decided in order to address this problem and make our students more successful that we would start this Fremont Reads program. So every day except on our shortened days in first period every class will read for at least 15 minutes every day and the only way to get better at something is to practice so we have to give you time to read so you can get better at it. And in order to launch this program, we wanted to have a huge celebration to um, celebrate books and make it exciting. So we had a free book giveaway. So we had over 600 books that we put out on the quad and categorized into different um, genres. And students could come and choose a book that they wanted to to start their own personal libraries. 
So the books were donated by um, adults on campus as well as um, a program through our Healthy Start coordinators, Ms. Cardona and Mr. Ruiz. So we are hoping to have another book giveaway event in the spring. Um, we're going to wait to see what other events and other books that we can get before we have another one, but we are definitely planning to do another one next year. So um, I would like to add, if students are having trouble finding a book that they're interested in, come see us in the library. My office is in the library as well, and we will help you find a book that you like. You watch Netflix shows, TikTok stuff, movies. There are books, most of the movies today are based on books, so we will find you a book that you will be interested in. Fremont Reads. <laughs> this week's Fremont Watching Spotlight highlights Mr. Gonzalez, Magnet's computer science teacher. Let's hit the right keys and let's jump into this clip. One of the things that I really enjoy is the, the interaction that I get from the students um, learning, learning the, the computer science concepts. After, after working with uh, computer applications, um, mathematics, I, I found the, uh, my interest for the students to be more exposed to more uh, higher skills uh, so that they can have a better um, options for jobs and future, and their future, very careers. Um, I do have three uh, extracurricular activities. The main one that, that I started a few years back is, uh, is called uh, Cyber Patriot, in which uh, students are um, task in fix and protect uh, the systems of a computer and they go to national uh, competitions. The other one is the hydrogen cell car in which they build a hydrogen cell um, prototype and we use that to go to different races um, with, uh, with, with a sponsoring uh, with the sponsor of Toyota and I just received the email this morning that is going to be one here. One it will be in December and the other one it will be in January. Oh, the students can join these activities. Um, I do prefer students who have a computer science background or coding, but if not, then the main thing that I really ultimately ask for is commitment and wanted to learn, wanted, wanted to compete and be in a team, work as a team own it, not just me, but the, the students need to own that program. This has been from team number five. My name is Joshua. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell for notifications on every time we post a new video. Remember, here at the Mont, we find a path or we make one. For a special goodbye from Principal uh, Esquivel, here it is. I hope everyone has a wonderful week and a wonderful winter holiday experience. Thank you. Go Pathfinder! Welcome, Welcome to Fremont. To Fremont.